Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Michael M. Nice to meet you guys. Doing today, I actually am doing some things for a little bit. Um, today I am reviewing Borderlands 2. Um, I'm playing it long enough today to review it. And let me say, I've not played the first one that much. I was actually, um, how can I say this? I was actually like, played it for like an hour or so. And now I got to get this one because I really like some shooters and RPG looting type of things. But I get yeah, like Diablo, um, people such as a lot of small looting games. And that's what I like about this game. But the best thing about this game is the gameplay. And the gameplay is one amazing thing is the thousands or millions of guns that this game holds. The story um, takes place at her five years after the events of the first one. Um, you are a new team of Vault Hunters. Um, you pick either one of these four characters. You should play as Axe 10, who's a commando. He has turrets and abilities. Um, Maya, she's a siren. She can do phase up, which means hold people in like, um, uh, gravitational circles that can hold them together. Yeah, Zawa, the new one, who's a good instructor, he only you know, like, might pay for you um, dual wheeling and like on um, the darkness too. You can do we. Not do we. Do we. Um, that's cool because you can actually shoot, but while you're shooting, you actually regain ammo at the same time. It's also a really cool technique. And then you have Zero, who is the assassin, who turns invisible for a couple minutes while leaving a decoy and slicing the mind. We just say that the game itself looks beautiful. There's not a lot of texture popping or any type of glitches in this game. I really like it all. The only thing that was a um, little problematic when it comes to gameplay was the vehicles that looked problematic when it comes to using it. And that's all that was problematic. Let me just say everything about this game looks great. The characters, but the writing of this game is the best part of this game. The writing, the humor, and everyone's acting is amazing. The story may be a little cliche once in a while, but it doesn't really matter because what you really care about is having fun killing people and monsters in this world. And it's really amazing how they did it with this game because they about software and 2K work on the first one. They looked at the first one and said, what can we improve on this? And they did everything. Everything is on you, so that's all. But it's still amazing how they could play. With your kid, with your friends. I actually played Call with my little brother. He had fun with this, so did I. Um, the only problem I have if you go play online is playing people that you know. Because if you're playing with strangers automatically, you actually, um, is that you as a character, you have your own money, but that character should stay with you. So he can just take all your money, rob you, take everything, and waste it all on guns or ammo. And then you play it to a single player version, like I do. You lose all your money. No, it's kind of disappointing when that happens. I think the other should just said, hey, let's make each person have their own set amount, not all together combined, because that, in my opinion, is, is really selfish, in my opinion. And multiplayer is fine, you just play with other people, but the cool thing is, is that the more people you play with, so let's just say you play by yourself, it's a challenge, maybe, if you're, if you are, play the first one. But if you do not play the first one, you want to be more challenging. But the more people you play with, the harder the game gets, and more people that are coming, more monsters, or AI enemies. And the enemy AI in this game are actually smart. They actually are moving around, they're jumping, they're throwing grenades, they some kind of way towards you, start hitting with bats and stuff, or sharp objects. It's really cool how they did the design. Um, uh, yeah, it's really good. The um, sound design, the music, it really is kind of cool, cookie type of idea. Music like, yeah, that little western thing, the demons, things like that. That's really amazing. But I really like how they introduced a new character. Like, when you introduce a new character, like, in the beginning of the game, they get these cool characters, they freeze the image. Like, it's almost like this. They freeze them, they show their name. Like, meet this character, and like, I'm just gonna say right now, his name is Sir Hamelock. And it was like, what's up, Sir Hamelock, are you sure? And he says, Sir Hamelock, and stuff. And he had, like, one of the most armor stuff. But the most greatest character I've played with in the game is Claptrap. He's the most funniest guy. He's a little robot who walks around saying that you are he, you are the slave or minion, you do whatever you say. He really makes jokes with you and little things that are really funny and I absolutely laugh at him. It's kind of hard to laugh at a video game when the jokes kind of repeat itself. But this one doesn't repeat itself at all.
think you guys that cool idea to it. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I have that cool idea to it, and it may do a good job of it, but it doesn't get really terrible at times. I really love to see if they make a part three to this, which they might would, because it's so amazing. If they make a part three, I want to see like um mass making multi that really be like go against anyone like Team Deathmatch or something. Maybe what they just just not just make a call up and that's it. But they do have an arena mode when you're like, okay, well, let's fight each other. And you go to the little arena and there's this little kill box, this little arena, and you gotta go fight the person. And it's, it's really a cool, but I want something more on like it. Team Deathmatch or something. You can't just fight against real players on like maps during the campaign. But overall, it's an amazing game. Um, let me just say that if you play the first one, it gives you a little extra experience points for the second one, which is really cool. And then there's some cameos in the first one that show up in the second one, which is really awesome, I think. You, uh, I'm not going to spoil any of them, which you may or may not play the first one, but they're really going to blow your mind if you ask me. Um, that's not how much stuff to say about this game. Everything like this is amazing. The graphics, the gameplay, the story, eh, it's okay. But the best thing about the characters, other than Blackjack, is Hampton Jack. He is by far the best villain, I think. But he's not like the number one villain like Joker or Bane, like in the movies. Instead, he's more this goofball character who messages around talking to you about audio log. He's like, hey, you know, what's up? I have this pony, we have diamond, or caught piss my brains, they are you. He makes a little joke with you, and that makes you really want to kill him. And that's really cool how a game is makes you like kill other make you like, okay, back to this guy being big to you. But in the end, I just enjoyed it. It doesn't it's not a bad thing. It's really awesome. It's really one of the best rating games because people gave us ten. One guy didn't give it that from seventy five, which is really good in my skill. I think that this game is perfect. The only problem I have with it is that. The vehicles in this game is not really that good. If they put in put on vehicles, very much like R2, that would be the analog stick and the camera control to move around, actually get stuck in building, like in the, in the rock or something like that. Big deal, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. In the end, it's amazing. So, yeah, really good game. My overall score for Borderlands 2 for PS3, Xbox 360, and PC, but I have PS3, thank you. It's a 9.5 out of 10. It's an amazing game. It's better than the first one every single way. If you bought, played the first one and you think about buying the second one, buy it right now. I think you already bought it since it's like over a month old right now. It's like a month old. But it's still amazing. I love it. Don't hate me or anything. So, guys, please comment below. Tell me what you think. Did you like the game? Also, give me your score below. Comment. You already said that. Like the video and subscribe. It really helps me out, and it really is um, really good to feel me things. Also, the next episode will be the Prometheus Collector's Edition review, and, don't worry, I'm also going to be reviewing the most underrated game I played, Metal of Honor Warfighter. Limited edition of PS3. Yep, I'm reviewing that as well. I'm reviewing Prometheus first because I like Prometheus. So again, like the video, comment below, subscribe, and tell me your thoughts. Thank you. I'm gonna go. Thank you, my ideas. Bye.